Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013 Mods with your host KP. Alright, so today uh, it's all by uh, this pack. It's not really a pack, but the mods I'm using that we're going to show off today. Um, I have used them uh, before. I've used them on my farm, which is where we're at. Um, so, let's get started. They're all from Duke's Farming, by the way. So, obviously, the Magnum knot isn't, it's in-game, in when you pick up one of those. Okay. Let's go to Mods. And, gotta find it. Three seventy nine flat top American iron contest winner. It's a two thousand Peterbilt, forty five thousand five hundred to buy. It's in used condition. Sixty three inch sleeper size, premium sleeper, caterpillar caterpillar C fifteen with four hundred seventy five horsepower. It's a thirteen speed. Six hundred eighty five thousand nine hundred and eighty three miles on the thing, so we'll go ahead and pick her up. Next is and is the JM eight seven five eighteen by also by Duke's Farming. It's a durable rolled top tor uh, roll tarp. Features a tension rolled tube with a self-locking edge, maintaining a tight seal to protect your valuable grain from changing weather conditions. Holds 875 bushels uh, capacity, and the unload time when it's completely full is 2 minutes. 34,300 to buy. Pick her up. Alright. Um, and the last one is over here in MISC. Nah, it's subcategory. Missing subcategory. Trailers. Duke's Farming Low Boy. You've all heard me say I wish I had a low boy in order to do stuff. Well, here it is. Duke's Farming has brought it to you. So. Um, you're, and, okay, so every time you spawn this in, like, buy it spawns in this way with it in the ground. Um, in my last mod episode, I, we did the forklift. It now stays here at the shop so when I spawn trailers in, I can lift them up. So clipping issues, there's not any. Uh, this here, you just climb over. The truck. Obviously we can go through this. The reason for this, a lot of people don't know the reason why we can clip due to this um, hitch here. In order to have everything hook right, you had to be able to walk through here. Uh, because I know, I know you can't do it with the lizard truck, but that's also giant making it. They have more resources. Resources. No, people, this is not John Deere. This is J&M. That's nice. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, let's see. JM, it's not John Deere. Eat a belt. Alrighty, so let's hop in the case and oh, get off this JM. Alrighty, so if we open up the help. If we push B, it unfolds the pipe. And V opens and shuts the uh, tarp and also animates it, which is nice. I love that. So, it's <laughs> finally completely undone. Now you can move the pipe up and down. What it means is this part here, that black part, it will actually move. It's not the whole entire unit. So, J. Okay, so N. Okay. See? That, I'm pretty sure, just lets it drop on the ground. 
and this guides it. So we'll go ahead and close up the tarp and also fold. And move this guy away for the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and whoa back. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the trailer. So we can actually look at it. Uh, trailer is now level. <laughs> Somewhat. Alright, so go inside. Nice black and blue. Not really great design. And this is obviously uh, the winner. If we look on the outside, we do not have any uh, strobes. But we have some nice our lights. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nothing on the keypad. Four, no. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and hook up to the trailer. Okay, so we're going to push X to unfold the ramps. Okay, so jump up onto the trailer. So as you can see, we have the big ramps for the big tires, and then obviously the two smaller ramps to go straight up. I'm pretty sure you can't miss the ramps. I think it's like it, I think it's actually a solid ramp, one solid piece, invisible. So we'll go on over here, pick up, take this guy on over to the farm. Hoop. Okay, tractor's on. So is our JNM. Okay, so we're going to push O to lock it. Push X to fold it up. Off we go. We're actually, actually going to go very far because it's actually... Oh well, yeah. It's going to go over to our field. Good old Peter, Peter Belt's going to pull this like there's nothing there. See, there's the other one of ours. Go 
I push X. Auto release. <laughs> I love the truck running. That's nice. Alrighty. Go ahead and back on off. And you guys all probably want to see this guy in action. Well, I already have one going. <sighs> so we'll run over here. this guy up. We'll go get this guy to unload. That guy is empty. Run on over here. So these are the what normal normally around here, what the farmers around here use is JNMs. What uh, actually this exact setup, uh, JM comes in green. Uh, red, blue, all different colors. So we're gonna bring this guy out uh, just so you can you guys can see how uh, the JNM dumps. It doesn't. It's not actually a charge like all the others. It's a transfer, which is true because you're not charging it. You're transferring it. Okay, now if we push X, transfers. See? I push in and it brought it backwards.
Alrighty, so what do I think of the JNM? It's a it's a great trailer. It's a great overloader. It does exactly what it needs to do. As for the semi and the trailer, the semi is great. I love the DK, I love the paint scheme on it. Yeah, it could be a little bit clearer, but it's good. It does it exactly what it needs to do. And I am absolutely in love with this trailer. See, I'm jumping for joy. All right. um, I just love this trailer. It has everything I've always wanted in the trailer. Nice. The frame's nice. I love these ramps, especially since it's like a like a uh, once big ramp when it's down. Um, I'm able to load anything. I mean anything. I actually got bored and loaded. I backed this. I I had two of them. I backed a trailer onto the other trailer and locked it and drove it down the road because I was bored. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Links for the uh, the links for the mods. I'm not gonna link them, but uh, they'll be in the description to the website. Uh, just a heads up: you do have to sign up in order to receive the mods, in order to download. Uh, it's not that bad. So, like I said, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.